such a good game. Burnley 1, Tottenham 2, and it should be 3-1 because Son has had a great chance early in the second half. He was put through by Kulazewski and he is touching him down. And uh, Trafford was able to make the save. Son had another shot charged down. He's in the box now, Son. They've made a brilliant start to this second half. He's not hanging around Vincent Company. He's made two changes. Brownhill and Del Croix are on after the break. It's all Tottenham, though. Burnley 1, Tottenham 2. Glenn has uh, very childishly asked me, <laughs> would I finish that? Well, and like, made some sort of terrible impression that like I not. can't play football. Oh, oh goal for Nottingham Forest. Please OK, and Chelsea. Uh, yes, let's go there. Mike Williams. What a start to the second half for Nottingham Forest. They have stunned Chelsea here at Stamford Bridge. They've been on the back foot for the entirety of this game. It's been all Chelsea who have had chance after chance after chance. They've not taken a fail to re re uh, register a shot on target at least. But now, right at the start of this second half, it's the visitors who have the lead through Anthony Alanga, the substitute who came on in injury time in the first half after Danilo had to go off. He was played in by a one and a cool as you like finish from the Swedish striker. Summer signing from Manchester United already repaying every penny of that 15, pound, 15 million pound transfer fee. What a start for Steve Cooper's side here in West London. What did Chelsea have in response? Chelsea nil, Forest one. Oh, the ball is threaded through. It goes through Thiago Silva's legs, doesn't it, Farah? It's a good finish. Do we ask questions about the keeper here? No, I think it's a, I think it's a great finish. I think it, it starts with Casado losing possession in the middle of the park. A, a one year goes in, and Thiago Silva goes with with him, which leads which leads the opposite. Uh, sorry, two centre halves of Chelsea as they're playing the back three really split. And it allows for the, you know, a simple ball right through the middle. And it's, for me, it's a great finish, Glenn. Yeah, it feels like a, it's, it's set up for Alanga to whip it back across Robert Sanchez. The arms you put up, and it's a measured finish to the, to the, into the bottom right corner. The goalkeeper's left. And now it's all about not looking forward to this position. Last, last week away at Manchester United, can they hang on now? But they're taking the game to Chelsea here. But also, then, look at Forrest there. Again, winning the ball is Caicedo, losing the ball again in the middle of the park. Yeah. It, it's in... He's, been, he's had a bit of a, a slow start, hasn't he, to his Chelsea, Chelsea career. We've seen in the, the opening game when he came on as a substitute, didn't start too well. The second game was better. Today he's been a little bit inconsistent in terms of his possession. He's turning the ball over early on in the second half a couple of times. But Chelsea are so stretched in possession that when you do have a turnover like that, their, their back line is really exposed. And with runners between, it's going to be difficult to I, defend. I think it's just taken him a little bit of time to get used to, to Pochettino's system. He, he was so used to the way that Brian played, it made him look good. Just take him a little bit of time to, to find his feet, but this is a £115 million pound player. He's no slouch. No, absolutely right. OK, a couple of goals to tell you about. One of them... For